We want to find the uh, largest garden that can be enclosed with 900 feet of fencing along with a, a river like it's shown in the picture. This is a little bit different than the problem in the, in the book uh, because they have it has 1,200 feet. So we're doing a slightly different problem, but it's very similar. Now, in order to uh, do this problem, we need to set up a function that we can maximize. Now, the thing we notice is that from here to here, along with from here to here, and from here to here, if you added those up, you would get 900 feet because you don't need to use any fencing along the river. And so we will, we will write that down first. So this is the equation that we, we observe right away. Then the next thing we need to do is consider what the area is. The area is just x times y. So I'll write in that, and then we'll observe that x is really 900 minus 2y. So this is the function of y that I want to uh, maximize. And the way we maximize it is we uh, complete the square according to the procedures uh, discussed in the book. So I'm now completing the square. Remember, we factor out this negative 2. And we have y squared minus 450y. And then we take half of this and square it and add it in and subtract it off. And then this material here becomes a perfect square. And so when I multiply through by the negative 2, I get this right here. So therefore, uh, the maximum value occurs when I make this negative term equal to 0. So that's when y is 225. And if y is equal to 225, then x has to be 450. And so you should have 450 feet in length this way and 225 this way. And that will give you the maximum area of this garden.